marriage is a sacred, life-changing commitment between the couple and the Lord. It is also a public vow taken between the husband and Christ. If these instructions are followed, harmony will result. If ignored or violated, such rebellious actions will result in marriage problems, divisions, discord, even divorce. The instructive mission to each person is described in Ephesians 5. The overarching verse is to submit to one another in the Spirit of Christ. Marriage is like a garden. You know, when you see a good garden of Wayne Hardeen, you go, wow. But you realize it just didn't happen by itself. It needed to be cultivated. You know, in gardening, you need patience, you know? And also in marriage, you need patience. Also in gardening, sometimes las gerbas, the weeds come up. Drive through the night to lay underneath the stars. Feels like I'm dreaming to be wherever you are. And I've learned if you get a weed when it's small, it's easy to pluck it out. But if it grows a lot, it's a lot more work. So when stuff happens, just work through it, you know, and move on. So in the words of President Kennedy, adapting them just a bit, ask not what your spouse can do for you, but what you can do for your spouse. That's good gardening. Son dichosos por compartir la felicidad de un compromiso tan sagrado y por haber creado una hermosa relación basada en la amistad y la confianza. En el día de su boda, el regalo más precioso que se pueden entregar es el amor incondicional. Carlos, do you take this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in holy matrimony? And do you promise to be true to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others? Do you promise yourself to her as long as you both shall live? Absolutely, I do. All right, that's a good answer. <laughs> May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you and lift up his countenance upon you. And now in accordance with the laws of Puerto Rico, uh, the authority invested in me, it's my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Beautiful.